it's Candy, and I am back with another step-by-step -step come do your makeup with me. Um, I did a Snapchat of this look and an Instagram, and then you guys liked it so much. I was like, I'm just going to do an everyday red lip makeup look step-by-step. -step. So it's like you could do your makeup like come along with me. So if you haven't subscribed, click it right now. Thumbs up if you like these and you want to see more, request other things and stuff. Comment below, that's how like that's how you like you talk to me. And then um, I'm gonna show you guys all the things you need. So just your foundation, concealer, powder, your red lip color, liner, some nude eyeshadows, a brow thing, some mascara, I got lashes, you don't have to put them on, and then some gel liner um, if you wanna do that, or any liquid kind of liner, and that's basically all you need. So get that stuff out, you can come and do your makeup with me, and I will show you how we do it. So I hope you have fun doing this. Let's get started, and we will go back to me not having any makeup on. Are you ready? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put some music on. And we're listening to the copyright free, royalty free station on YouTube. I don't know if this is too loud, but I have to have music when I put makeup on or it seems like a very boring task. So the first thing I already did was I already put the primer on and a trick to primers is you wanna put them on before and let them, it's too, it's too loud. You gotta be a little quiet, buddy. Okay, and if anybody wants to know what song this is, I don't know, I'll put it in the comments below. <laughs> okay, so this is the Marc Jacobs primer, and you wanna put this on and let it like do its work for like 10 minutes. So don't just put primer, you always wanna let it sit and kinda like activate and plump up and do all the stuff to the skin. So I put that on like 10 minutes ago. Now we're gonna put the foundation, and I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting I'm mixing the colors. This is Golden Neutral and Cream Chamois. Um, just to mix it, because he's a little like too yellow for me, and then he's like a little more normal. And let me know, I don't know if these lights are too bright. I'm trying to figure out the lighting for you guys where it's perfect, but I don't know, because different computers and monitors are gonna see things different. So I'm mixing equal parts of these two colors. I might put the links below the video. I don't know, it's so much work for me to put the links for every product I use, but let me know if that helps you guys. If you do like the links below, I will put that down below. So I'm gonna mix like equal parts of these to mix the perfect shade of foundation. I'm gonna use a beauty blender, mix these on me hand, and then we're gonna start putting this on here to cover up all of me freckles. I do love freckles on everybody else, but for my foundation, I just like full coverage. I like it look like I'm a perfect doll with perfect skin, huh? even though I don't have perfect skin. That's the beauty of it. This is seriously, my favorite foundation. If I do a favorite this month, it's gonna be in there for sure. With some other things, but it'll definitely be in there also. Whoops. We ran out! More makeup! More makeup! I just need to look like I got so much makeup on. Just kidding. It really doesn't look like it once you put it on. That's the beauty of it. Get our forehead, and I will remember today to do the, um, I'm getting so worried about my forehead, to do the contouring, which, the last video I did of this, my everyday makeup look, I totally forgot and then I put it on, on top of my powder, which it came out looking okay, but it's not really the order you should be doing things in. And this, you don't even really need concealer. This just does such a good job, I love it. Ooh, we gotta blend, wait, which is the right color? This is the Creme Chamois. If you go to like a department store or even Sephora, they will match your skin tone. Sephora has this cool thing where like they use this little computer to like match your skin tone. So if you um, go there, they'll just give you like what color you wear in every blah, 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 every brand. And this lighting is still, ugh, I always get an itch in my nose as soon as I put the foundation on. Wait, is that the end of our song? Am I gonna have to do this every time? Uh huh. I guess so. Are these all the copyright sounds? Let's hear what this song sounds like. I don't know, I've never heard this before. We will listen for the first time together. Okay, we gotta hurry up. This has already taken minutes just to get our foundation on. But if you're following along with me, this is how long it usually really takes me. Okay. Well, I do like this song. Okay, so we are doing that. Now we're gonna do, I might just put a little. This is the Kat Von D um, Lock It Concealer in Medium. I'm gonna just put a little under the eyes and on the eyelids just because I like extra coverage here. Kind of acts like a primer. You really want to get like a good base of no skin redness coming through underneath. I think that's good. Perfect, now it's time to powder. 
I'm just using any translucent powder because you wanna set your makeup. If you don't put powder, if you just put your foundation on, all of your makeup is gonna come off because it's too oily, it's gonna slip off. You have to set it. And if you want a dewy look, then just use like a more creamy foundation to lock the moisture in underneath, but you have to set this. Okay, I put dry shampoo, and now it's got like a white clump in my hair. That looks really great. So again, set. oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I totally forgot to do the contour before. I, I just get so excited about setting my foundation. Okay, so this is, if anybody wants to know, the Match Master Concealer in number eight. It's way darker than my skin tone, but this is what you want to use to do a little bit of contour. Just do this. You don't have to do this every day. I'm just gonna show you guys because I feel like it does make a difference. So we got that. Good thing I didn't didn't touch the forehead yet. I cannot believe that. Oh boy. Blenderoo. This music is very fun. It feels like a party. I hope you guys are doing your makeup along with me. It's like we're just hanging out doing makeup along with your good friend Candy. I was gonna say Candoozle, but I don't know why that was gonna come out. <laughs> and then do the nosy. I promise you when I'm not talking, this goes a lot faster. I don't know if you guys follow me on you now, but it's like live streaming. And I did a couple live streaming putting my makeup on there. The only not good thing is I, have, I do it on my laptop, so it's not like as clear, but it is fun. I love it, and then I can talk to you guys and ask you things and it's just so fun. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer as highlight down the nose. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like that. Now, we're gonna add more powder on top. Oh no, now we gotta get a new song. Oh, this is the hardest part. Let's hear, let's hear cartoon we lose. I don't know. We will hear what all these songs are later. Okay, now we're gonna lock all this in with our foundation. Now it's not going anywhere. I'm going underneath the eyes. I even do the eyelids so that our eyeshadow goes on smoothly. Put it on our chin. We don't want an oily chin, oily nose. Okay, now this, I feel like the foundation takes me the longest. Okay, now we're done. I don't know where the lid to my powder is. Now we're gonna do, now I like to go in, Hoola, this is my favorite bronzer, as you can see by how worn out it is. And I just kind of go over the same areas that I just put the cream with. Because for more power, you always want to put a powder of whatever it was over the cream. It just gives you more impact and beauty. Favorite blush of all time. Well, kind of. This is Love Cloud from MAC. I just love this color. And I really hope it's not like one of those temporary or like colors that gets discontinued because I just, it's like the most beautiful light flush without looking like, whoa, crazy, crazy cheek colors. And then I'm really loving this NYX Full On Femme, this little pink highlighter. I just put it like kind of right on the very tops of the cheeks like that for a little glow. And then my favorite highlighter I'm lo lo loving, this Kevin Aquan Candlelight might be the most beautiful highlighter ever in the whole world. A lot of highlighters are like two. I just smash my blush brush down and then you just go right here on the cheekbones. A lot of highlighters are too sparkly and shimmery and they look kind of crazy when you put them on. This is so finely milled. It, it's like you just don't know why your cheekbone looks so great, and I just love it. Putting it down the center of your nose. And now below the cupid below. Love it. I love it. Now I'm gonna use, this is the Gwen Stefani palette, which I have. You can use any colors. You do not have to use these same colors that I am using, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm using myself. So this color in blonde, this highlight, any highlight shimmery color will work. And I'm just going to go in the inner corner and get this down here. And then we're gonna go up here. This is also one of my favorite brushes too. This is from my friend Troy Surratt. This is his, I love this brush. Like nobody's business. This brush is just amazing. 
so that's our highlight color. Then I'm gonna take this color, this is an Anaheim, this like kind of taupey, light taupey brown, and I'm gonna go right into the crease. If you don't have a crease, you just kind of make that color there and it'll make it look like you have a crease. And then I blend up like that. Pretty, pretty. What other color do I want? I don't know. I'm gonna just add a little more. I'm gonna mix these with the star color. What is he done? We're we done with that song. Maybe we'll play it again because I kind of like it. All right, let's hear it again. I do that with all my favorite songs where I just play them over and over again. I don't know why. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of that start color. And we're gonna go underneath the brows. Ooh, me likey, me likey. I might do like a thinner brush, like this thinner guy. I might go back in here with a little bit of this zone, this brown, and then this like light taupey color. And then we'll work him into the crease a little more for a little more impact. Ooh, I like it. I'm just gonna do that. Soften him up on a brush with absolutely nothing. I think that's all we're gonna do on those guys. Now, I'm gonna get, this is Taut, the Tartus Clay Paint Liner, which I love. And then this is just a Royal Lang Nickel 1 8 um, brush from the craft store, which these are way cheaper than makeup brushes and they actually have like cushiony stuff here. So just go to Michael's and buy yourself a craft brush or Hobby Lobby or wherever. Then I got this. Then we're going to, you get a little, you squirt them out like in this little bowly thing. Come on, buddy. And then I just load him up on the brush like this. And we're gonna start, wait, what? I never use these sponge tip guys unless it's to smooth out stuff in the corner. I don't use these for application. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to start in the middle. Whoa, he's way thicker than I wanted him to be. Wait, I need to face this like more forward so you guys can like kind of see what I'm doing. And then we hold him out to the side. Go in the inner corner. And go in here. Now, if it's wobbly or something, don't worry. We're going to go back in with eyeshadow and fix it. But we're going to decide where we want our wing at. Ooh, I got some on my finger. He's going to get all over my face. Then I just always scrape it off and make sure it's really flat in the center so you get a good wing shape. Let's see, where do we want our wing today? Maybe right here. I just do it really light at first. I have a smaller... I just want to do my makeup so fast. So we'll go like this. Ah! One wing, <laughs> done. Time for eye number two. Get him out of this little gel guy. You can use whatever you want here. I, I'm just liking this one right now. Start in the middle. Come down to the corner. I don't go all the way down. What, that song is over already? Uh, what should we listen to? What was the last song called? It was called don't play it. was called Different Heaven by Nekozilla. We'll play that again. I think we liked it. Play. Okay. This is not fun. Now we'll go back in here. Load him up again. And go back to the middle. Yeah. 
Now we gotta match our wing. So let's eyeball it. Get a little more product on. We're just gonna get it, wing it. We're gonna wing it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't realize all the makeup in the background. So this was all the makeup that Kat Mondi sent me and I did a haul of it. And I had it arranged really pretty, like I took all of the lids off and set all the lipsticks up by color. And then I only thought she was helping. And before I took the picture, she put them all the caps back on and piled them all up. So I gotta do that again in the background. So that's why that looks like that back there. Okay, now let's do this. Okay. And I mess up on the wings all the time. So if you feel like you do too, you are not alone. My most famous, well-known celebrity makeup artist friends, they know that the wings are the most nerve-wracking part for everybody. Um, he's totally crooked. This guy's going up more and he's going down. We gotta fix him. He's got to take a hike. Yeah, buddy, you gotta take a hike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just gonna take a little makeup remover. These are the Kat Von D makeup removers, which I have right here. Get out. These nails, I cannot do anything with these nails. So we're just going to... I mean, he's not drastically bad, but it's gonna annoy me. Ah. So yeah, we messed him up. So we're gonna take a little bit of our foundation. And we're just gonna dab it right there. And dab some right there while we're at it. Now we need some more powder. Also, now we're gonna need more eyeshadow. What keeps happening with these songs? Ah, eh, we'll just play him again. I don't have time to hunt for a new one. So we're gonna get this guy, Dane, no, Stark and Anaheim, and we're just gonna do that again and get the light peachy color. Fix him again, perfect. Where do we put that other guy? I don't know, he's good like that. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, I just got foundation all over my hand. Good thing you got my little makeup wipe here. Yeah? Okay, Gwen Palant, you gotta go over there. If you guys didn't see my Gwen video, just go see my Gwen interview video. It was awesome. I don't know if I already told you, but she Instagrammed a picture of both of us. Ah! Okay, putting this on here. Okay, now wings, you're gonna... I want you to match your friend over there, like so. Matching way better. So don't feel bad if you don't get your wings right. Oh boy. Brush, you went way too wobbly on me. Oh my gosh, you brush. Just messed up my whole eye. That's it. This is normally where I would edit the video and cut this part out because nobody wants to see this. But maybe you guys would enjoy seeing those mistakes. Okay, so we're gonna put our cap on him. Now we gotta get our. Now we gotta get our. Now I'm gonna just get an angled brush. Any angled brush to work. I'm gonna use the black from this blackout palette too because I love this color from Mac. So we're just. I mean Urban Decay, angled brush, and we're just going to press it right on top, and this fixes any wobblies or wiggly guys, and then we're going to, whoa, wah, darker, blacker, and fixing any wobblies. And you really want to get it in at the lash line. Look at that little 
pointing eye. Beautiful. Now I'm going to also take, I'm gonna take, oh great, there went our song again. Where is it? It was just here yesterday. <gasps> ah! I'm throwing things. I don't know where that little mascara guy is. It's the IT Tightliner, which I really love. Please be in my makeup bag. You're not in my makeup bag. Where are you? Don't mind, we're gonna hear that song again. <laughs> um, because... <gasps> it fell down. Perfect. Now we're gonna curl our lashes. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna take this tight liner guy because I really love this. And I just wiggle him way in near the base of my lashes. And it just gets it super black in there. I love it. Ah. And wiggle him. Get up there, buddy. I'll do our lower lashes too. Don't mind my mascara face. Ah. Okay. Well, they are drying. Maybe we'll do we'll do our eyebrows. Okay. I have been loving this dark brow 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 beater brows. So we're gonna fill in our brows with this guy. Whoops. Not looking at my brows. So I go up here. And then go across the top like this. And then go from this arch down. And just sketch them in. And then do the bottom. And I just fill in all in between. I go up here. And down here. It's like. I am your makeup coach. Then you take the spoolie side and go up and over. Perfect. Now we got this guy to do. Like so start here at the corner, go up. And you want to hold your eyebrow skin taut, otherwise your pencil sketches are going to go and move with the skin. So you want to hold it still like I'm doing with my finger. And then you fill them in. Oh my gosh, not a different song again. Let's hear this Firefly song. Who knows what it sounds like, but we're gonna hear it. If it's back, we'll just change it. Spoolie side up and over. I need to be filled in down here. Boom, they are, whoops, that's not the right side. I'm gonna put the cap for him. Put him over here. This Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, still my favorite mascara. We're gonna put 25 million coats of this on. Ooh, ooh song getting crazy. I think I actually need to buy another one of these. I think I'm running out. Yeah, he needs a new one. Yes, I do have a Shopkins Band-Aid on my finger. Ah, uh, can't talk. Some down here. Do you want to screenshot my mascara face? That's a good one. It's a good one. There we go. See, this is when I'm editing. I cut all this out because nobody wants to see two minutes of me putting mascara on. Then I put my head back like this so that I don't blink and get it on my eyelids. Do, do, do. I'm not even looking in the mirror. <laughs> That's how pro 
Oh! Right when I was about to say that's how professional I am, I get it right on my eyelid. I was just joking, but pride comes before a fall. Okay. I think that's good. Now I gotta cover up that blonde hole of eyeshadow. I'm gonna get some more highlighter right there. And I'm gonna put him just like he never happened. I'm actually using a sponge tip applicator. I don't even know where this came from or why it's on my table actually. Now we'll do our lips. Okay, so I'm gonna be using, I have three different reds here. Um, this Lime Crime Red Velvet color, people ask for a dupe for this color, which is like the most perfect, awesome red. So I'm gonna show you guys a dupe for that, which is American Doll from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I say it every time. If you guys watch me on Snapchat, you've seen it. I, just, I don't know why, I just wanna say Anastasia Beverly Hills when I say that name. <laughs> so we're gonna put this on first. Christmassy. Sorry guys, moment of silence while I do my lips. We're gonna finish it with liner because you can never just do this liquid lip. If you're doing a bright red, you have to define it with a lip liner and make sure that it's pretty sharp. This is Cherry from MAC. It is the most perfect red lip liner in all of the world. I have used it for 10 billion years and will use it for 10 billion more. I just love it. So we sharpen it. Then I overdraw my lips. Sue me, lip police, that I didn't stay in the lines. I'm being a lip rebel. Ready? Bottom lip is done. What, that song is done already? I don't know, we liked it. Let's just hear it one more time, okay? That is Jim Yosef. Firefly, what did I say this was called? I don't remember. The lip liner will soften because when you use the liquid lips, it can create like a way too harsh or wiggly line that looks like too much painted on. So this just softens it if you use the lip liner. Red lip liner is where I get like super perfectionist. Like I'm like, keep drawing, keep drawing, keep drawing, it's totally straight. another 25 coats of mascara and we are almost done. Anytime you do red lips, it takes way longer. We're almost coming to the home stretch, guys. Hang in, hang on. We are almost done. What am I doing? There was like a little glompy guy. Now normally, if I'm, well really normally on a daily basis, I don't really wear makeup every day actually. So, um, I am, I thought, hey, I'll put makeup on and I'll make a video for it. So this is like my go-to red lip color, but I know people are like, oh my gosh, you take, oh, I just stuck on my finger. People are like, you take that long to put your makeup on every day? I don't actually put makeup on every day. What in the world? I just smeared it underneath my, oh my gosh. If you smear your eye makeup, take a little bit of concealer on your beauty blender like this. I can't believe I just did that. And dab it away like an eraser. Oh my gosh, you know why? Why this happened? Because 
I normally like to put the HD powder. It has more silicone in it, so when you put the silica underneath your eye, makeup doesn't stick. It sweeps off much easier than regular powder, and I forgot. Whoa, that recording was so long, it said we'd stopped recording, so I had to do hit record again. There we go. Now you're not gonna stick. If only I had remembered to do that in the first place. See, like the smoke is still coming up from it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put eyelashes on because I just think it looks fun when I actually do this makeup look, even though I don't really wear the lashes every doodle all day. Glue, Kalas glue. I don't really know. I don't really know how you pronounce this. I should like Google it or something because. Oh, I got glue in here. What a good little eyelash person. Oh, these are the Flutter Lashes from Kim. They are my favorite eyelashes of all time. And anytime I wear them, people are like, oh my gosh, what mascara do you have on? And I say, it is not the mascara, it is my eyelashes. Okay, I have to just tell you guys this also. My favorite part was in my last video when I did, people were like, you are crazy, you must be drunk, you must be on drugs. When I did my video, and I was like, are you kidding me, people? I just like to have fun and I'm silly and I'm probably weirder like this in normal. So I guess there are a bunch of people that don't like people that have fun or are being silly or fun or so happy. I don't know, but this is not on drugs, people. I don't do the drugs. People look crazy. So we're just going to plop him down. You always want to make sure you get the inner corner down good. Voila! Look at how like, ooh, glamorous this eye looks. Wait a minute. What in the world? This is not the right eyelash. What? I just mix and match some eyelashes. Oh well. Uh-uh. We're gonna get some more glue on this guy. What? Is that song over? I think we like it. It's called Jim Yosef Firefly. We're just gonna listen to it again because I just get obsessive that way. <laughs> I cannot be the only person that listens to music a million times over. Wouldn't you like a song? When Justin Bieber, I'm Sorry came out, it was like nonstop, I'm sorry. I was like, I am a believer. What has happened? Okay. Get all these hairs off of here. Got all these fuzzball hairs. Get out of here, your fuzzies are gonna get in my eyes and make me go blind. Plump him down. Voila, both of our eyes are looking very... <laughs> okay, we are all done, guys. This is the total... This is like my go-to red lip look, which you could do with any palette. You could do it if you have the Tarlet palette, any of these nude colors, any nude I have. I also like this also. Um, if you guys do want to watch me do some other live ones, you can go to you now and find me there. Plus, you will be... You will see the finished look. I don't know what I was saying there. If you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, because I'm there. Candy Johnson everywhere. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you now everywhere. I'm just Candy Johnson. Just my name. Good thing my name is spelled weird. <laughs> so follow me there. If you guys like inspiring, inspirational, and or funny videos and posts, Follow me on Twitter and Facebook because I do the things there. And Snapchat is like my favorite. It is like my favorite of all things. If you're not following me on Snapchat, go and just see the awesome visions. Lots of me not wearing makeup, but lots of other cool things. I have like cool makeup. Like as soon as I get makeup, I just snap. I just like go to town on Snapchat. So just follow me there. It's like my favorite fun thing. So go there. And Instagram too is also fun. And everywhere really. But um, I love you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more of these and what look would you want to do. Any holiday looks or special requests you guys want to see, comment below. This is how I know what you guys are telling me. Talk to me in the comments and tell me. And like this if you like this video and want to see more. And I'm still working on the lighting, guys. I don't know if my lighting is weird or not, but I'm going to try to work and make it better but I love you guys and whether you're wearing makeup or not because most days I don't always wear makeup um you will see that and I love you guys huge hugs from my house to yours I will see you guys in the next video I will also put my last everyday makeup look I will put the link below um it's similar I make up different lip different actual eyeshadows and things like that but you can check it out I'll put a link for that below and I love you guys I will see you later hope you had fun doing makeup with me remember you're beautiful you're awesome and I love you guys